My name is Tanya Markovic and I'm an endocrinologist working at Royal Prince Alfred Hospital in Sydney uh, where I'm the Director of the Metabolism and Obesity Services. I'm also a Clinical Associate Professor at the Bowdoin Institute of Obesity, Nutrition, Exercise and Eating Disorders at Sydney University. I was presenting the background to the preview study which is a very large study that uh, was planned in Europe uh, that's based on um, funding from Europe but th there is a col collaboration between um, our university, uh, Jenny Brand Miller, who, um, who the preview team uh, became very interested in her work because of findings that they got from an earlier study called Diogenes and, and that really provides background for this preview study. The Diogenes study was a study uh, done in Europe to look at what is the best diet for weight maintenance. So it's quite easy to lose weight, it's maintaining that weight loss that's not easy. And they looked at a combination of all sorts of um, diets, uh, macronutrient mixtures, high protein, low protein, high glycemic index, low glycemic index, and the conventional um, diet, the sort of healthy diet that's, that's routinely prescribed, where there's no discussion about glycemic index. And they found in this study, they, they were actually expecting that all the diets would be similar or that the conventional diet would be as good as any other and they were quite surprised to find that the high protein low glycemic index diet was so effective at maintaining weight loss and was the only one that was effective at maintaining weight loss so as a result they started looking more seriously at glycemic index and that's how they got involved with our group in Sydney um, because we have a particular interest in glycemic index so we're now involved in this extension and much more detailed study uh, called the preview study which is looking at um, diet, exercise, um, at sleep patterns, stress, socioeconomic status, behaviour, so a vast number of factors that can interplay um, and how these may relate to uh, prevention of type 2 diabetes uh, in people with impaired glucose tolerance we got the finding that a high protein, low GI diet is effective. So we want to look at that again to you know, sort of confirm that finding, that it was effective for maintaining weight loss. Secondly, we want to have a look whether high um, intensity exercise is better than moderate intensity exercise. There's a lot of work being done in this area. Some studies suggest it may be, others not. The advantage of high intensity exercise is in this time poor era, you only need to do it for half the amount of time compared to moderate intensity exercise. So that's another aspect that we're interested to look at. We want to look whether any of these interventions have a beneficial effect on sleep, which in turn, we know that sleep is very important uh, for uh, disease in general, but also for metabolic disease and obesity um, in particular, in, uh, specifically, and whether these diets may have an effect on sleep, a beneficial effect, which might in turn have a beneficial effect on disease. Alternatively, if people have poor sleep or have chronic stress or have um, certain um, you know, um, economic difficulties, whether that has an effect on their ability on the effectiveness of these various uh, lifestyle interventions. So it sort of goes both ways. So we're looking to try to get answers about what uh, measures are more, most efficient in um, helping us maintain our weight reduction. We know that weight loss and maintaining weight loss is highly effective in preventing the development of type 2 diabetes, particularly in individuals who are predisposed to diabetes, for example, who have impaired glucose tolerance. There's a number of studies that have shown that. And this study is to, to look at what are the most efficient ways of doing it, because the older studies have involved fairly intensive lifestyle programs that have been quite, would be quite costly to run uh, on a routine basis. Um, that, um, that people who are, um, who are uh, motivated might be able to follow, but we're trying to find something that might be applicable for, that might be easy to follow and applicable for large numbers of our population and, and something that they can actually manage and do and fit into their routine.